So hello everybody, welcome to today's video. Today, my friends, I'm going to show you how to fix crashes on Power of Exile, my friends. I am very, very happy that I'm able to do this because I have fixed the crashes for myself. And for those of you who know me or my streams, they know exactly that I was like crashing every 50 minutes to one hour, like especially on the last league now on delirium with the fog and stuff i had crashes almost or every time and yes i have uh, found a solution on uh, a, a site i was like doing so many researches and i did five changes i did them all in once and yesterday i was streaming for 10 hours straight yeah i know i am a bit of a nerd but it's like that and um, no crash like 10 hours no crash I'm so happy and that's why I'm doing this video and I'm gonna show you how to do it very simply so let's go so my friends the first of the changes that we will make is to verify the integrity of your game so in order to do that we just start up steam you are coming here then you go to your library where you have all of your games then you have path of exile you right click it the game properties then you go to local files and you click on verify integrity of game files that should be the last one here then you click on it you wait a couple of of minutes let's say if it's the first time that you're doing it it's gonna take a while you see it's uh, going up and you wait and at the end it's gonna say it's completed so i'm not gonna wait for it uh, now but that's the first change of uh, the five ones so my friends and the second change is gonna be to change the networking mode in order to do that you just start your game and then you arrive on this main screen where you have to click on options then you, you will be here then you click on ui and the third um, option should be networking mode there you will just change it to predictive you click on save and you close and that's the second change my friends so my friends next we will run the game as administrator in order to do that and the simplest way uh, to do it is actually you run the game and then you click on Control alt delete where you click on task manager Okay, you will arrive on this screen on pro on the processes you have all your active apps you will uh, right click the path of exile steam or path of exile it doesn't matter then you click on open file location you will be redirected to the documents of your game and the path of exile um, executor is gonna be already uh, highlighted where you just right click it and run as administrator you will click okay and then you accept naturally and then you see something is happening here okay it's closing and then after that you will just restart your game okay so that's the next change that we will do So next, my friends, we will change the in-game settings. In order to do that, we start again the game uh, on the main menu. We click on options. You arrive into graphics. So there are two options that we will uh, change. It is the V-Sync in first. You will disable it. Normally, it's enabled. You will click on disabled. And the next one is going to be at the last one. Uh, it's the engine multi-threatening or treating sorry uh, you will disable it, uh, it also okay it's normally by default it is written here default it's enabled you will disable it you click on save and then you restart your game so that's the 
the next change uh, very fast, as you can see. So uh, now we are just at the last change that we will do. Um, it is to uh, update your drivers. Um, in order to do that on Windows, you will click on the Windows key plus X. Okay, you click on both, then you will see um, this box showing up where you will have to click on device manager. You will have the device manager open, then you go to display adapters. Then you will see your, your graphic cards. You will right click it. Normally you have two, if you have two. I have only one, but you will do the same for uh, both of them. You right click it. And then you will see update driver, search automatically for updated driver software. Okay, then it's gonna, the, 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 your graphic card is gonna uh, check on the internet at its provider if there is an update to do. Then at best it's written, the best uh, drivers for your device are already installed. If not, it's gonna show up how to update it normally with a site that you will click and you will uh, update. In order to check if it's all done, you come back and you do it again. You can't harm your PC by doing this and you will have this screen showing up. So, my friends, those were my five changes that, we, uh, that I have uh, done. Uh, and I went from 20 um, crashes to zero, my friends. Maybe the the graphics or the in-game um, experience is gonna be slightly worse because sometimes you will see a, a, the FPS drop uh, dropping more than usual but for me I didn't have any any crash now which of those five changes will make yourself like or your game not crashing anymore I can tell you that but what I can assure you is that my game is not crashing at all anymore when I'm streaming. In order to uh, see that, you can watch my latest uh, streams on Twitch and you will see by yourself that I don't crash. And before that, I was crashing all, all, all the time. So, my friends, if you have any other tip, please comment below. Or if you have, like... Um, experienced something by doing those five changes if it worked for you or not please let me know i mean uh, only together we can um, do great things so thank you so much for watching um i hope to see you again on the next video or even next stream on twitch and uh, good luck my friends on fixing uh, your crashes so thank you so much for watching have a nice day nice night and see us on the next video or next stream bye bye my friends love you